an extravagant ball during the European Renaissance of Science. But little did I know that a few great minds mingle among them.
Aurelius Theoprastus Bombastus Bonhoeden, otherwise known as Paracelsus, the greatest amongst five, if I do say so myself. So, why is my name Paracelsus, you ask? Aside from it being an extremely long name, Paracelsus means equal to Celsius. My enlightened prayer own followers do not believe such lies that Celsius and Galen had said. Galen's claim was that health and disease were controlled by the four humans. Well, I say, the only way doctors can understand the ways of the human body is to study nature and develop personal experience through experiments. Celsius and Galen's theory were the ones being taught to us in schools and universities. But the universities do not teach all things. So a doctor must seek out old wives, gypsies, sorcerers, wandering tribes, old robbers, and such outlaws and take lessons from them. A doctor must be a traveler. Knowledge is experience. When you gain experience, you gain knowledge. Return to my humble abode back in the country. I don't know what is the considerations, but this may be a duration. I don't know. But there's a song, we're too stubborn and it's to believe us. I wonder, will school still bother me? And we think there is a killing to you all over again. They will not. I spent years the concept of a stationary earth using the principles of science and religion. My main contributions to mathematics are contained in this book. Tactatus de Configatory Bus by Leto and Moto. In this book, I conceived an idea of using rectangular coordinates, latitude and longitude, and the resulting geometry here will distinguish between uniform and non uniform variations. Thus, I have laid a foundation that later be led a latent geometry by René Descartes. Furthermore, I saw the first proof of the metron here. I am proud to announce that I, Nicola Resnick, is one of the greatest medieval economists and one of the most economic. They were supposed to know nothing about me. I have kept my identity secret, but eventually word got out to the point where all the public knows about me. Secreti della Signora Isabella Cortese, or the Secrets of Lady Isabella Cortese. To despite all that I have done for science, I am still unknown to everyone. Indeed, my book will showcase and enchant the people, and it did draw more attention to the people who became interested in alchemy. such as glue, polish, toothpaste, soap, and other cosmetics. One treatment calls for a mixture of quail testicles, hatch wind ants, oriental amber, a mixture made from elder and storax. This is the false treatment for erectile dysfunction. As long as all the instructions are followed exactly, the book will claim all of its secrets to be known to the people. Leonardo da Vinci, Paracelsus, Nicola Resmen, and Isabella Montesa. 